This presentation is brought to you by r4p3.net. Visit our online form. Register today. TeamSpeak Talk is a proof of concept released by the r4p3.net security research team. This is potentially able to crash servers up until and including version 3.0.13 of the TeamSpeak 3 server software. This is very important for TeamSpeak server administrators, but it's also important for anybody interested in researching security. Now, I want to specify that the TeamSpeak 3 development team did act quickly. In fact, they came in on a weekend when usually they have weekends off specifically to patch this issue with their TeamSpeak 3013 server vulnerability. Now, they released a patch and then they recalled the patch and then they patched the patch which they released. And that is fucking confusing, okay? So, basically, yeah, they released patch version 3.0.13.1, but then they were like, no, no, hold on, we need to recall this, we have some problems. In fact, I think it was something to do with the TeamSpeak 3 server query. And then they patched th the patch or whatever and released version 3.0.13.2. So, there you go. I, I don't know, it's crazy. But apparently they patched their patch and it works. Uh, good job to them for acting quickly, but I think that they just kind of released their patch a little bit too soon without doing any sort of testing, which I understand. They did a good job at being quick, but it's not all about speed. Stability is important too. Now I just wanted to highlight how we released the hotfix and vulnerability for this specific issue. So our approach basically was to release a hotfix to the public, which was totally free, that was dispatched out to our 6,000 plus forum members. Which, by the way, if you are not a member right now, please go sign up on r4p3.net. You will not regret it. We have great stuff, a lot of awesome educational materials, and it's just, it's great. Seriously, go visit our forum if you are not signed up right now. Please do that. And I, I will also want to mention that the vulnerability and proof of concept was only released to VIP members whom donate, and that is how we actually keep our community running. So if you are considering donating to us, you basically get a, a VIP membership, your name turns green, which looks really cool on the form, and that allows us also to continue researching security, which also improves the security of the TeamSpeak software, client and server included. Now the versions vulnerable, okay, so these are different versions of TeamSpeak 3 vulnerable in regards to their client and server software, okay? Literally the past nine clients and the past 10 servers, I am pretty sure, have been vulnerable to something. So almost all the client and almost all the server patches have been because of the research that our security team does. Now I am not bragging about that, but I think it's really important to highlight the impact we have on TeamSpeak 3 security. Overall, we really are helping to improve it, make it a better and safer software. And I hope that everybody can understand that and appreciate the work that we do. I hope you know that we are not bad people. We are not trying to be bad people. We don't want to hurt anybody or make people's days bad. We seriously are standing for better security in the voice over IP communications software market. And just it just so happens to be that we really have an emphasis on TeamSpeak 3 because we love TeamSpeak 3. Now I know some people might say, well, why do you guys do this? It's honestly because we really want TeamSpeak 3 to be a safer software for everyone. So what does this mean? To be honest, I really, I have no clue. I'm not sure. I just know that TeamSpeak 3 is useful. It's very great voice over IP communication software, but they definitely need improvements on security and stability. Their current latest release of the TeamSpeak 3 server software is version 3.0.13.2. And that is at present time, August 16th of 2016. Thank you very much for watching this news release. This is Asphyxia. I'm a website administrator. I would love to give a big shout out to Supervisor, Deadman, Effa, Derp, Captain, 
How many other people do we have? I, I know that I, I feel like I'm missing someone. Okay, so Asphyxia, one. Supervisor, Ethan. Captain, Dirk, Deadman. It is, I feel like there's one more, man. I don't I, I need to definitely think over this and maybe script these out in the future. Anyways, I'm really tired. I'm super tired, so if I have forgotten to mention your name, I know, I know you, and I'm incredibly sorry. But anyways, I, I also need to give a big shout out to the moderators over at r4p3.net. We have a wonderful moderation team. Those people really keep our form a better place. So all of the moderators, big thanks to you. Uh, R4P3 security research team, you guys, are, all of you, I really mean this, you guys are all awesome, and I, I want to tell everybody from the community, we all love you so much, the, the, from the moderators to the R4P3 security research team, and, and even all the other community members, we all together shape, we make a really great online and educational atmosphere for anybody interested in voice over IP communication, software, security, development, plugins, support, whatever, you name it, okay? So come on over to r4p3.net, sign up, look forward to seeing you there, and you have yourself a wonderful day. Thank you.